I'm Cherry Groom. I wanted to tell you a little bit about channeling and hopefully answer some questions that you may have. Um, I do teach channeling classes um, each week and I'm happy to have you join in. Um, we have classes in person as well as uh, remote. Um, we have some virtual classes currently going on with channeling and we'd love to have you be part of our experiences. Channeling is a very simple task. There's no tools required. For our purpose, for our group channeling, um, we do ask that you just be relaxed. You try to leave the weight of the day behind, wearing something comfortable. I always say shoes on, shoes off, whatever works best for you. For the purpose of our group classroom, what we do ask is that you find yourself in a comfortable position. Some folks love to sit in the floor. If you're, if you're doing the class remotely, then you're probably in a favorite chair at home. Whatever it may be, we just ask that you become comfortable, that you allow your body to relax. <laughs> Channeling doesn't require any special knowledge or tools. We just ask you to be present in the moment and then slowly allow your energy to relax, to ground, and to begin the connection to the higher self, to the spiritual world. There are many... To channel. For our purpose, our main goal is to connect to a higher energy source. Perhaps the ascended masters, perhaps the angelic realm will come and join you. Perhaps your guides will show themselves, your animal guides, your animal totems. Oftentimes, people believe that channeling is only connecting to the highest essential energies, like the ones I've mentioned, the ascended masters, the supreme beings and teachers. But I want to let you know, no worries. If grandma shows up out of nowhere, or granddad, or another loved one in the spirit world, don't worry, you don't have to tell them it's time to go, we'll catch you later allow them to come into the experience with you and enjoy their presence. Each class has a different topic. In fact, we usually have two topics. We teach channeling on a two, uh, two meditation basis, meaning that we have our first meditation of the class. The class usually runs two hours and the first meditation is the deepest meditation. The second meditation will focus a little bit more on the breath work, helping with the expansion of energy and allowing us to go into another experience. Oftentimes, the, the journey of the evening, the journey of the day is decided once I see the students that are presented for the experience. There are times that my guides will say, no, today we're going to do something different. I know you may have thought we're going to a beautiful day in nature to have a picnic, to ask our guides to join us, to be a part of our experience. But you have students within the group that need something different. Perhaps maybe these are the students that will connect better to the universe. Perhaps they'll connect better to the stars. Perhaps these are the individuals what, that will connect better to a new galaxy, a different dimension. So in that case, we'll go to a different place. Each meditation is designed and geared to the class. Now with that said, there are times that I do plan in advance through meditation. I meditate to get the topics of the evening or the day. And we go to many beautiful places in nature. We may spend the day at the park, perhaps maybe enjoying the moonlight. Perhaps we go and we just sit in a, in a quiet, just quiet place, maybe a front porch, 
maybe your own home. We have many different opportunities and experiences during the channeling sessions. The most important thing to remember is that there is no right and there is no wrong. Come as you are. You don't need anything special. Come with the awareness that you have all you need within. Spend a little time to quieten the mind, to release the magic. So each class, as I said, is different. I try never to have the same type of experience. So I hope that you'll join us. Channeling is, is just a beautiful way to connect. It helps you to relax, to forget the troubles of the day, the worry of the week. Let it go. Connect to God, to source, to the universe. Connect to all that is that's meant for you. I know you could do it. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity to work with you, to help you find the magic within your own journey. I hope to see you soon. We'll talk again later. Bye. Happy channeling. Bye-bye.